Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So before we begin, um, just a little update for you guys. If you have not followed me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description down below. Make sure you do follow me there because I do update on Pokemon Cafe Mix and what's to come. So first thing first, like I said, next few stages are coming to the game very soon, on the 21st of October in fact. And Beware is actually one of the few Pokemon that you are able to recruit as a cafe staff in the future. And of course, we also have an announcement that the next raid event for Pokemon Cafe Mix is coming around and it's in celebration of Halloween. So the cafe staff will have get-ups, um, you know, to celebrate the, the spooky festivities. And of course, Mimikyu is the next raid Pokemon. So just like Snorlax, this time around we have to keep feeding Mimikyu's hunger with, I guess, spooky sweets. Who knows, maybe some of the recipes might introduce a Halloween-style design. But until then, uh, just be excited for it, I guess. So, <laughs> right now, we have to obtain our good friend here. <laughs> because as of today that I'm recording, it's actually the last day of the event. So yes, um, it's the 21st of October. If you have not obtained our new friend here, you gotta work hard. <laughs> because by the time this video goes up, I think you might only have a few hours remaining to do so. So do your best and hopefully, you know, try to get it done within maybe an hour or two uh, as long as you've been grinding the game without the need to keep retrying the stages because, you know, hearts take some time to regenerate. So yeah, alright, let's pick up the rewards first. Alright, let's see how we got place. Ooh, 28. Pretty decent, considering how often I played. <laughs> okay, let's start the regret brand new Grand Prix, and of course, as usual, we'll begin off with um, well, invitational party invites. Oh, should probably have kept with Lucario. Lucario is a lot harder to come by. Oh well. Okay, look at you. Here we go. So we're gonna try to push a few more stages this episode as well, cause since there are gonna be a lot more stages coming in, we are going to be so overwhelmed with undone stages. Okay, so this stage is rather annoying, so we just got to you know do things right. Okay, here we go. So right now, the main thing is to get rid of the honey at the top because um, you don't want the entrance of the icons to get blocked out. Okay, um, let's get rid of the honey at the bottom as well. There we go. Let's get some Pikachu's going. Alright, so now that things are done properly, Let's destroy olive coating on the chocolate bars. Okay. There we go, one more time. Okay, hopefully the megaphone doesn't destroy our skill down there. Okay, so that's fantastic. Alright, so we got to get rid of the pumpkin stuff. There we go. Okay, so let's clear some score. Go. One more time. All we have to do now is just get rid of the chocolate. So let's just do this. And let's get a whole bunch of icons for the score. Okay. Oh, very good. So we're kind of lucky with the megaphones. Um, they, they all seem to come in the direction that we need. <laughs> um, usually, I'll be struggling with this level quite a bit. So, yeah, if you got this as the first stage for the invites, I think you're pretty lucky because you can use the hearts um, to retry the level on the first invite. 
The second one, however, sadly to say, if you fail, you are definitely going to need that 900 Acorn replenishment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so just pay attention to the top chocolates of that previous level, because even though the Pikachu skill can destroy all three at the same time when they are coated in olive oil, but once they are released from the captivity of the olive oil, sadly to say Pikachu's skill does not reach all three of the chocolate pieces. So yes, be very careful with that. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we're gonna try and get rid of as many caramels as possible. There we go. And we're gonna set free the tomatoes from their captivity. Okay. So now we are just going to get rid of all the caramels if possible. Oh, I missed one. That's fine. Okay. And of course we need another skill to release Let's get rid of the caramel along as well. Okay. So let's move the icons away so that the tomatoes can flow in. There we go. Okay. Let's push the tomatoes into the basket. And of course, getting rid of the caramel at the same time. There we go. So all tomatoes are in. Very simple stage, lots of remaining moves left, so that gives us a lot more acorns to collect. Not that we need it. <laughs> we got quite a lot already. But you never know. It's always good to have extra on hand. You can never be too rich in acorns. <laughs> Just like in real life. If you have the extra cash, be glad that you have it. Alright, so we do have the challenge card for Hatrum. Um, it's just that we might not be able to clear all of it at one go because I've yet to have it as a staff. And considering that the second challenge card requires it to be level 2, so that's a problem. <laughs> okay, Ooh, link 30. Well, at least it's just one requirement. Um, so we're gonna need. Ooh. Oh, it's Jigglypuff that's. Hmm. Okay, so even though Togepi does have the same ability to transform icons to the majority present on the board. Uh, okay, let's go with Jigglypuff. I guess let's just slowly destroy the chocolates. Uh, uh, if we can destroy the olives in the center, because you don't want... Um, with chocolate being coated with olive oils. Okay, do we have enough togepies to create a 30 chain? Yes, we do. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're gonna destroy olive in the middle. And of course, the megaphones are gonna help out as well. Alright. Okay, things look pretty okay so far. I mean, the scores are being nicely put up. Oh. So, the chocolate kind of activated the skill, which is fine. At least it reduces the amount of moves that require to clear the level. Go. Okay, lots of jiggly puff. Let's get all the jiggly. So here we have the issue of stuff being coated in olive oil. Okay. And it activates the skill. Oh, it's gonna activate a whole bunch. Oh no, that's such a waste. <laughs> okay, so we just need to clear the last chocolate and we are done. Surprisingly hassle free. Alright. Okay, we have Hatrum in the next position. So let's befriend Hatrum right now. There we go. Alright, Stoutland. Do your stuff. 
Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna have to destroy all the cheese generally, except for the top left hand one. Because we need to move the tomatoes into the basket. So let's just gather a whole bunch of stoplands. Go. Okay, let's see. We probably should get Stoutland's skip power up. Oh well. Ooh! That's convenient. So yes, Stoutland's skill does help out as well. So let's get all the Pikachu's. Go. Um, we're gonna power up the skill to destroy all the cheese here. We can just use the icons to destroy um, the cheese that's blocking the way. Oh, we, we probably should have done this. Go. Okay, so let's just mix things up. Push the tomatoes in. Oh, my finger went out of the screen, therefore the, the stuff got activated. So it's kind of gonna... There you go. Easy as that. Just have to push the tomatoes into the basket and we're done. Welcome, Hatcham to the crew. Yeah. Alright. It's so cute that it's. I don't know, is that his hair? Looks like his hair, but who knows? Standing on his hair. <laughs> uh, the uniform makes it look like it's some kind of country bumpkin. <laughs> I don't know. It just it just loops that way to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna claim all the rewards right now, so we can enter into the second card. Let's just make do with whatever we can claim from this episode. Every little bit counts. Megaphones and complete orders with Petrum. Okay. So here on out, we're gonna use our new friend. Where are you? There you are. Clears Pokemon icons and gimmicks to the lower right and lower left. What? Lower right and lower left. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Ooh, Wobbuffet's gonna join us too if we succeed in clearing this level. Wow. Two Pokemon in one video. Cool. Ooh, that's a lot of blue on the table. Okay. Um, so... Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot more Pokemon icons. Mm -hmm. Seems like we've got a bit of Meowth going on. Oh, it's a diagonal? Interesting. Okay. Lots of caramel going on. I probably shouldn't be picking up the pattern icons because. Um, oh, it's in circular pattern. Oh, that's a very cute animation. Oh, dear goodness gracious me. Okay, uh, this is not looking good. Alright, let's get rid of as many caramels as possible. This is really not looking good. Okay. Now the main problem is that we have we still got the chestnuts inside the orbs. So it's it's not that it's not that Hatrum can't clear this level, it's just that we are still experimenting with it, so let's let's give this stage a retry and hopefully we can do this. Okay, so Hatrum wasn't doing 
<laughs> the needed stuff. So we had to switch Hatram out. So let's try to clear this level now. So main thing is we need to power up her skill. So let's just try to get um, two of the skills out. There we go. And we try not to move the Mayonis around too much because we want them to be destroyed within the target area. Okay. Go. So many caramels. Okay, we will need one more, so let's clear as many caramels as possible. Like so. Go. We got our second skill. Set all the Items free from the uh, Mayonnaise captivity. And then let's get another set of skills going. Okay, let's destroy this. Alright. So, we go. We're definitely going to need that 900 um, retry. But as long as you've managed to get majority of the stuff out of their uh, bubbles, I think the 900 retry is going to be very beneficial. Um, you can use items to try and help you clear this stage a lot easily. Um, but why, why waste the items that are a lot harder to attain uh, compared to the acorns? <laughs> so yeah. Alright, so we just need to push the chestnut. Yeah, there we go. So we can use the megaphone to clear the caramel. And just like that, we're done. And Wabafet joins the crew. Of course. Why not? <laughs> I just had to do it. It's a, it's a Pokemon pun that has been around. Well since Why Not was introduced into the anime. <laughs> there we go. Just a nice looking red hat on him. No, no apron? Okay. I guess he can reflect, uh, reflect all the spillage that's flying towards his body with all its counter moves. <laughs> okay, Squirtle. Let's go with Pikachu. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, so it seems like we can just defrost everything easily. So let's just do that. And we do need a bit of um eggs as well. So let's do this. Then I have to use the skills for the popcorns. Seems like that might be an issue. Go. Okay, we can clear this easily. Now the problem here is the last frozen popcorn. So let's do this. Okay, uh, shift this out. Yeah, there we go. Simple as that. Wow, we still have five moves remaining. Hmm. Uh, very difficult level, I suppose, as long as you plan things out nicely. Alright, let's see who's next in line. Danny, I still can't pronounce her name properly. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I don't really say her name much in all my videos if you guys noticed. <laughs> okay, 80,000. Ooh, fruit cans. Oh, Starly. Oh, we're gonna have to rely a bit on RNG right here. Okay, so let's go set free some of the whipped creams. There we go. Um, the... Okay, let's... 
let's just destroy two of the cans first to make way for my icons. So no luck in destroying the whipped creams for, with the megaphone's help. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Same thing. Okay, once again, no luck at all. <laughs> There we go, we've got all of them out. Okay, let's destroy the cans here. Oh, we've got some help this time round, so that's pretty nice. So the main problem here is that we have to try and push the Red Queens as close as possible. Um, so yeah, so we can take advantage of the destructive power of the skill. Oh come on! Why weren't they facing downwards? Such a bummer. Oh well. Luckily, some of the whipped creams are already tiny, and we are done with just the skill. So not so much of a problematic stage. Just got to plan your positioning of the skills, and you don't really have to power up Starly skill. So that's fantastic. Next in line, Meow. Ooh. Oh no, there's pumpkins in this level. Uh, I do not like pumpkins. They bring me fear, like Halloween does. <laughs> okay, let's get uh, pumpkins free. Okay, we managed to kind of get one of the pumpkins destroyed halfway. Oh, no help at all with the megaphones. Okay, oh, where did the other pumpkin come from? Hmm. Okay, we gotta push them in. Stay together now. Okay. As long as the one that's not cut open is within range, that's fine. Oh, oh, why, why? You're so close to get destroyed. Okay, now all the pumpkins are gone. That's fantastic news. So let's go with the chocolates now. Okay, and with this, we are kind of done. Hopefully, the megaphone will give us the score that we need. Oh, that was not enough. Okay, let's do this. There we go. So not too problematic of the level, just be very careful of the pumpkins. <laughs> Make sure you use the skill um, range wisely. And yeah, you should be fine. Okay, we've got another objective clip. Oh, we haven't been using Hatrum ever since that level that we struggled with. Oh. Okay, let's let's get back to you. Ooh. Recommended Pokemon is Lucario. Okay, I have a feeling that we will definitely need to use Lucario. Let's let's stick with Hatrum later on. <laughs> Gather the items. Right, make sure that you set free the areas that require um, space for icons to fall. Okay, so now we just got to push all the mixable stuff together. There we go. Get a score with the help of the skill. Alright, let's push them over. I didn't manage to mix them up. 
Okay, where? Oh. Okay, this is a problem. There we go, we've got one of them. And two. Okay. It's starting to be a habit to end with two moves remaining. <laughs> well, at least we're getting some acorns and the stage cleared, so that's all good. Okay, who's next? Well, we have to switch over to Hatrum. If not, we'll never... Oh, Hatrum. Where are you, Hatrum? Your body requires your appearance. So cute. Ooh, open stage. Okay, so this doesn't seem too problematic. Um, just gotta be careful with um, the acorns, I suppose. And of course, if you can set all of them free as soon as possible, that would be great. And of course, make sure you capture those that are floating in the air or maybe just be careful to wrap things around them okay the eggs do not really matter i think the acorns actually are a bit more of a priority yeah did, did i say acorns it should have been chestnuts <laughs> oh well, my bad there we go so let's try to push the chestnuts together. Okay. Alright, let's get all the egg baskets down. Merge this. There we go, we've got all the chestnuts targeted. Yeah! Oh uh oh! This stage requires megaphones? Oh no. <laughs> it seems like we have to redo this level. Once again, one of those levels that Hatrim cannot clear on its own. Uh, it's such a bummer. Let's cause a chain here. Oh, we missed on it! Oh, this is such a problem. Okay, considering that we're gonna have to redo this stage. Um, let's just move on. Now that we know that this level requires megaphones to be cleared, we've switched over to Munchlex. So let's do this neatly. Um, Go try to burst all the bubbles, especially those holding chestnuts. Is that all the chestnuts? If so, let's merge them up and burst everything inside. Megaphones coming out. Okay, not as impressive as I thought it'd be. Oh well. Let's push all the chestnuts together. If possible. Okay. More chestnuts being pushed together. There we go. We're short of one chestnut, but it's fine. Hopefully the megaphone does help. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Okay. Can I can I target the megaphone as well? Nah, let's not be greedy. We still have moves left, so technically let's not do something rash. There you go. 
kind of unfortunate we had to waste the heart because of the stage requirement. Okay, hopefully now we can use Petrum. Okay, seems like we might be able to use Hatrum for this one. Um, just gotta be careful with the vegetable counts. And of course the marshmallows, because you don't want to end up, you know, being stuck on this level because of the marshmallows. So, let's just clear the marshmallows first but at the same time while we are being blanked out you should be focusing on um, getting the vegetables as well oh, we go all the way in? there we go so we've got three of them okay last marshmallow taken out with this, let's clear the popcorns and a bit of vegetables. Hmm. Let's use this. There we go. Alright, let's power up more skill potential. But at the same time, let's take out some of the Vegetables. Go and cover more. All right. So a lot of vegetables is needed. Let's let's just double down if we can. Oh no, we couldn't. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, we're short of one. But at least we cleared the stage with Hatrum. No extra acorns. But main point is. Clearing the stage with the required Pokemon. Hey! Oh my god, Weasel joins the crew as well! Oh! Three Pokemon in one episode? Amazing. Oh, no heck for you? <laughs> okay. It will be interesting how to. Hide that fin under the hat. Oh, we get a friendship bonus. Gonna help us with the Grand Prix positioning. Okay. Ooh, we're on the 10th level. Hmm. But let's push onward. You know, just cause there are more stages coming on the way. And let's try not to get ourselves too Delayed in terms of clearing all the stages possible. 90,000 pumpkins on this level as well. God dang it. Okay. So let's try and target as many of the ice cubes as possible. Right, and of course we have to uncook whatever they got. Oil. Alright, let's try not to power up Hedrum skill, Hedrum skill. I said Hedrum, no idea why. Okay. Alright, let's get the tomatoes into the basket if possible. We have the megaphones to clear the pumpkins, so that's great. Now the only problem is the olives. Hmm. We have a problem. Yeah, it's 
the ice cube is the other problem. So, are we able to push all the tomatoes in? No, we won't. Oh. Okay, I'm sacrificing the 900 here. I have a feeling that we can do this. The only problem is the tomatoes that are coated in olive oil. Is there. So just gotta be careful and gentle. There we go. And the last one in. Whew, thank goodness. <laughs> so it's not a difficult level. Uh, if you're using the recommended Pokemon, you should not have a problem because the only hindrance that I faced just now was the ice cubes. I didn't manage to touch them in time. Um, if I had broken the ice cubes earlier, I think I would have cleared the level without even a retry. So yes, look at that. Double stars. Fantastic. I wonder what position we are in now. Oh, we are in third. Well, not for long. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, let's go with uh, Hetrum again, because we need to use its skill as much as we can. Seems like this might benefit us, I think. Um, the only problem is Hetrum's skill is diagonal, and the position is kind of awkward right now because of that middle... Hmm. Oh well. Let's make do with what we have. Let's set free. On his bubbles first. Okay. Let's clear the cans. Can we do a double? No, apparently not. Okay. Let's clear as many as we can. Yeah, it's one of those stages that you definitely need the main Pokemon's, um, rather the recommended Pokemon skill. Ah, gonna save it. Okay. Let's clear as many as we can by powering up the skill. Go. Actually get a double? No. That's so sad. Okay. Seems like we won't be able to do it. That's so sad. Unless I use another 900. So wasteful though. I have no choice. Okay, at least the chestnuts are all in one area. Short of one. Oh well, at least we have this skill now. Gosh dang it. <laughs> well, clearing the challenge card is definitely a challenge. Um, if you can do it without the use of the 900 Acorn Refresh, I think you're pretty skillful at this game. Um, it's not that it's not, it's not that it can't be done. It just takes a little bit of luck and skill. Oh, we've got another challenge. Clear. There we go. Second card is completed. We don't have to use Hectrum for the meantime. All right. Combine skills. Blah blah. blah. Clear Hectrum icons. Oh, we do need to use Hectrum just to get the icons appearing. Ah, gosh. <laughs> oh well, Hectrum, you're here to stay. Let's go. Oh, are we gonna get Squirtle to level 3? So, Squirtle is the first fully leveled Pokemon in this account. Alright, let's set free the chocolates. The skill is stuck. Oh well. Let's clear out some of the chocolates. 
might as well. Since they are kind of a hindrance. Just gotta be careful on the amount of moves remaining. There we go. Hmm. Okay, maybe this side, because the chocolates here are a bit less destroyed. There we go. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Okay, we seem to have enough eggs going on. So we just have to destroy the chocolates. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I am short of a move. Oh no. So many 900 acorns wasted this episode. Petrum, I blame your challenge card. <laughs> oh well. There we go! Skoto at level 3! Fantastic. So yes, level 3 is the current max level in Pokemon Cafe Mix right now as of the 21st of October. Uh, eventually, they might uncap it again. Who knows? Alright, let's see if Hatrim does the job for this level. Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. This does not look good for Hetram. Okay. Let's go with these smaller icons for now. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. So let's set the cheese and destroy some of the marshmallows at the same time. Go. Hmm. Okay, maybe let's use the skill to destroy some of the cheese first. Alright. Let's get more teams out. So all the whipped creams are out. Um, we just have to destroy the cheese. There we go. So we have the milk canisters out. And we can do this. We have score coverage. And once we've gotten the items out, let's just mix them up. There we go. Can we just get rid of all the icons first? So we can get the canister and the milk mixing together. There we go. So we just have to destroy the whipped creams now. Um, seems like it's not gonna be a problem with all the icons that we have present. There we go. Yes, finally! A stage that Hatram is able to clear on its own. Having Munchalax as the recommended Pokemon kind of works. Oh, it needs megaphones! Ah. Why do you do this to me, game? Okay, we have to link as many Pokemons as possible so we can get the megaphones summoned out. dropping as much. That's not a good thing. Okay. Let's clear the popcorn 
Hands here. 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 Go. Get all the icons. Alright, we got another megaphone. That's not enough. Definitely not enough. Munchlex, why do you have to do this to me? <laughs> okay, we're going with Munchlex. Should be able to clear this easily now. Hopefully. There we go. Let's just clear the center area. stuck in the bubble. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, let's clear the popcorns here. Oh no megaphones to help at all. Oh well. Okay. So whenever I see recommended Pokemon that has megaphone skills, I am definitely sticking with them and not using Hatrum. <laughs> uh, got a bit too ambitious the last round. Oh well, a lesson learned. And hopefully it's a lesson you guys learned as well. Alright, let's switch to over to Hatrum. Where are you? There you are, not too far away. Let's do this. Okay, seems doable with Hatrum. So let's use the top row because we need to get the icon flowing. Let's use Charmander first. Alright, now that we've got the bottom unlocked as well. There we go. Now the only problem is moving that tomato. Okay, let's try to push it across now. And it's in! Simple. All the honey is cleared, now it's just the fruit cans. Oh, Petra's skill! Mwah. Perfect! <laughs> okay, so we just need the score. So let's just gather all the icons. We're good to go! Right, one of the challenge missions was to use Hatrum's icons. Lovely, lovely pudding. Alright, who's next in line? Starly, okay. I think we we can go with Hedrum. I hope we can. Oh, seems like we can. <laughs> but pumpkins, uh, why? Okay, let's cover as much surface area as we can. Okay, 
maybe let's use the skill. We can get more space going. So much for space. <laughs> things this way. There we go. Okay. I think ooh, we still got a pumpkin. But we shouldn't have a problem destroying the last bit. So let's just gather the go. Um so it's all the pumpkins and the sugar cubes right now. Oh oh I shifted oh that's such a waste Okay, so we do have enough megaphones and enough moves to clear the stage safely, so I'm just gonna do that. And not risk <laughs> a, a careless move. There we go. Who's next in line? Oh, Kirila. Actually, it's Curlia. I think I'll be pronouncing his name wrongly, <laughs> but it's okay. That's always how people are when it comes to Pokemon names. They just always have a specific way to pronounce it their own. Okay, so we do have a very interesting um, solution here. So technically, we could have used a skill um, to destroy the chestnuts on the. Right side first. Now, because the problem here is that the funnels are just going to have the, the chestnuts keep rotating out. You see, see, this is what's happening right now. Okay, okay. what a waste of skills. Oh. Go. It's just like three, three items for the skill of one megaphone. I'm gonna have to push them down. Okay. Might need to retry this level. Yeah. This is a bummer. So, cause the thing is, Hatram's skill is not able to hit on that far end of the screen. So this is a problem. We're gonna have to use Squirtle. And we are out of hearts! So, uh, why not just use the 900 acorns on a wiser decision? Replenishing hearts is actually um, more effective than using it to just add 3 moves to a turn. So yes, let's go with Squirtle and let's redo this stage properly. There we go, we're gonna have to power up Squirtle's skill. So let's just charge up while destroying popcorns. Go. So with the skill, let's destroy the chestnut first. So we have less problems later on. Alright. Okay. It's gonna keep flowing until you plug the hole. <laughs> All the popcorns are gone, so we just have to handle whatever's remaining. Okay. Um, can we get all of them together? Yes, we can. Oh, we are left with a whipped cream. Oh well. Luckily we have one last skill and a move. 
<laughs> this level could have been cleared way faster. Um, so, that's my bad on my part. But, you know, as long as we cleared a level, it's fine by me. Oh, friendship bonus. are Pokemons that have megaphone skills. I'm gonna go with Munchalax because Wabafetz doesn't have a destructive power on its own. I mean like the skill circle doesn't destroy anything. Um, it just basically summons a whole bunch of megaphones uh, within that skill circle itself. So Munchalax is actually a better choice here uh, in terms of you know secure destruction. Oh no they're all coated in ice. Okay, let's defrost the Munchlex. Let's cover as much as we can. Don't want to end up destroying the pumpkins yet. Of course, we want to get rid of the marshmallows first. If we can. Alright, all the pumpkins are free, but the only problem is the marshmallows, so let's clear them while we can. And of course, make sure you set free all the ice cube items first, because this will be a problem later on. So we might as well do it while getting score. There we go! So we have a lot of skills going on right now. So let's just destroy the pumpkins. Summon a whole bunch of megaphones. Ooh, look at that! All the madness. Oh, we're so close to missing that one. Oh, we are short of one megaphone! Oh well, let's just gather up icons to get the last megaphone. There we go. I remember playing this level with Wabafet. <laughs> That's why I decided to go with Munchlax instead. So yeah, a little tip for you guys as well. second place now. Okay, but Blossom. Blossom does destroy things upwards. I don't know. Will, we ha will Hatrum be actually useful in this level? Uh, let's give it a try. There you are. Let's go. Lots of Hatrum icons on the table. That's fantastic. Ooh, bubble gums. Okay, ooh. Olive oils as well. This is not looking good. Okay, we have a megaphone. Let's just destroy as many as we can. Set them free. Okay. So everything that's coated in the pink goo is now free. So we just got to get rid of all the olives. Are done. Oh no, there's a megaphone requirement? I just noticed it! 
Oh no! No wonder I was feeling a bit uncomfortable. Like something was wrong. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I'm gonna have to retry the level. Uh, why do they always do this to me? Why? Okay, I didn't know Blossom skill had megaphones attached to them. That was kind of surprising. Just just annoying. <laughs> See, even the megaphone couldn't be summoned. Okay. Now that that all is out of the way. Oh no! I didn't target one. Well, at least the megaphone helped. Recover. Okay, okay. Just gotta make sure they are all within the area. Hopefully, get lucky. Megaphone, do your thing. Well, it did one thing. Alright, same strat. Let's move all the chestnuts together. Again, the megaphone saved my ass. So we just need the score now. Am I allowed to say ass on YouTube? <laughs> Who knows? Can we get one more Yes, okay. Just to get that score bonus. There we go. Once again, we have two moves remaining. And the train continues. Oh, and first! Wow! Okay, let's grab the gift. And whenever you see this, it means that this will be the last stage. Who's in line though? Oh, now we get to see Hetram in the next episode still. <laughs> Although the event for it is gone. That'll be pretty interesting. Uh, Lucario? Okay, we're gonna stick with Lucario because I don't know if Hatram's skill can s save us. No, definitely not. Look at how the stage is set up. Hatram's skill is not gonna save us. Thank goodness I decided to go with Lucario. Alright, let's see. Chocolates, go away. There we go. We've got more room. Technically. What a waste of a move. Oh well. Okay, let's pop that bottle. Vegetables and all. Put the tomato in first. And just like the other side. Oh, it went right in. Fantastic. Let's set the tomato free. Same as this one. Alright. Um, there we go. We just get enough vegetables along with the chocolates. Same thing 
here. Clearing path for the tomato to go in. Alright, we just need score and tomatoes. And we are done. Alright, we didn't end with two moves remaining, but I'm happy that we cleared the level. Whew. And with that, it means this is the end of the episode. So guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching if you watched through the entire thing. Hopefully all the tips and tricks and the retries were hints for you. Especially if you are struggling through this game. Yes, this game gets pretty difficult in later part of the stages. So as usual, my episodes are here to help you. Um, if you are struggling and just because you enjoy the game and the cuteness of the game design, um, hopefully my videos help you out and enjoying yourself with this game and probably not blocking too many hairs off your head. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys as always. If you enjoyed yourself, do leave a like on this video and of course comment your thoughts on the brand new content that's coming out the stages that we've gone through or maybe you want to let me know on certain things that I missed out in this game or maybe even just explain something that uh, I probably might have not thought of you know who knows maybe you guys can surprise me and I'll see you guys in the next video until then bye